Hey everybody, Dr. Craig here with Evolve Chiropractic. So today I want to talk to you about the importance of spinal discs and how they relate to your spine. So spinal discs or intervertebral discs as we call them are an essential component to our spine. Those are the things that basically act number one as cushions of our spine but they are the things that also allow mobility and movement of our spine in terms of if this is if you have a spine that has maybe a little bit more degeneration that has bone on bone the amount of mobility is really severely restricted having something that's a little bit softer in between allows those bones to move more properly and pain free so what is a spinal disc a spinal disc is composed of two parts so we have an inside portion which is called our nucleus pulposus right here it's basically a gel-like substance. That, that's really the main cushion of your spine. So that is a thing that helps us to dissipate compressive forces. The other part of that, this brown part, is called your annulus fibrosus. That's an outer ligamentous structure that really helps to keep that nucleus pulposus contained. So make sure that that, that cushion doesn't necessarily go anywhere. So why are those important? Really, it helps you to understand that under normal load, so the curves of our spine, such as this, this is an ideal curve in our spine, allows for normal weight bearing on the spine. When we start to alter that, or we start to put ourselves in positions, you've heard you should lift correctly, right? Lift, lift with your uh, legs, not with your back. When we start to put undue stress onto our spine in an improper position, what happens is we can actually change the load on your spine. And so under normal compressive load, we should be able to compress that this should be able to handle that. If we start to take this bone and start to change it into a different position, start to flatten out your spine one area, what happens is we're already starting in an improper position. And so think of this nucleus pulposus a little bit like a balloon. What happens is as we start to compress, if we're not compressing right in that middle, we're putting undue stress. So it's going to force that disc to potentially bulge out into a certain area. And if your spine is not in the proper position or there's an undue load on that spot on that disc, what can happen is that disc can actually start to push out and start to break through that annulus fibrosus. And that'll lead to things such as disc bulges, disc herniations, uh, which can then start to cause problems like compressed nerves, uh, slip discs, that type of stuff. So, now that you understand a little bit of the role of what that spinal disc is, hopefully you understand the importance of posture and how it actually relates to these spinal discs. So if that's something that you're concerned about, something that you need to get checked, if you're somebody who also says, hey, my posture is just terrible, come on in, we'll take a look. We'll make sure things are looking the way they should. See you soon.